everybody, Mike Iaconelli back out here in the shop. I've got another great one for you today. And we're gonna be talking about some tips and modifications for fishing a suspending jerkbait in the winter. And when I look at that spectrum of lures for fishing in the winter, for fishing colder water conditions, a suspending jerkbait is always in the top. It's always top one, two, or three of the most deadly lures you can fish when the water gets cold. So in no particular order, I wanna go over some of the baits that I pick, some of the modifications that I make, the line, which is gonna be real critical, and last but not least, we'll talk a little bit about the rod and the reel, which are also very, very important. Um, first thing for suspending jerk baits is to not lump them all together in one category. Um, I, I think too often in jerk bait fishing, people get one suspending jerk bait and they think they're good for every scenario. You know, I'm a big advocate like other lures, like crankbaits or like worms, like soft plastics. You carry different kinds of baits with different actions. And in a suspending jerk bait, a lot of times these actions are very subtle. They're subtle differences, but they can make a huge difference, especially when the water's cold. So my first tip is carry multiple baits. Carry different styles, different brands, different colors, that's real important. Um, I just wanna show you real quick my top three cold water jerk baits. And I'm gonna, I'll go through them and tell you why and what they do. You know, first one is a Rapala Shadow Wrap Shad, okay? The Rapala Shadow Wrap Shad. This is a suspending jerk bait. I want you to look at this thing as soon as I get it out of here. It's a suspending jerk bait. Very typical, a short bodied suspending jerk bait, really flat on the sides. But this is actually, you ready for this? This is a suspending bait that suspends nose up. It suspends nose up, okay? And that's a great one. In certain scenarios, I like a nose up bait suspending. And generally when there's a warming trend or it's a, a winter time day that's warmer, a little more mild, I want a nose up presentation, okay? The next one, uh, another one of my favorites is the Rapala regular shadow wrap. The regular shadow wrap. Um, just like the shadow wrap shad, it's got a lot of the same appearance to it. This one is a three hook model, it's a little longer. Uh, when that forage gets a little longer, this is a good one. But the regular shadow wrap, you ready for this? Suspends nose down. And I want a bait that suspends nose down when it's a cold winter day, right? You're fishing in the winter and it's a cold front. It's the coldest day of the week. It's a post frontal bluebird day. I don't want nose up, I want nose down. So I go with a traditional shadow wrap. And the last but not least in my list of uh, different styles of jerk baits in the winter is the good old husky jerk, the good old husky jerk. And the great thing about the husky jerk versus the shadow wrap or shadow wrap shad is this one, you ready for this one? Suspends perfectly neutral, okay? Perfectly neutral. So on those days that aren't super cold or super warm in the winter, this is just a average temperature day. I like a true horizontal suspending jerk bait like a husky jerk. The other great thing about the husky jerk is that the husky jerk gets better as the water gets colder. So for those of you that are watching where the water temperature gets really, really cold, I'm talking about 40, 39, 38, 30, 37 degree water, this jerk bait has the least action. It's, it's the most dull movement of all the baits, okay? And that's good when the water gets super cold, okay? So first tip is carry 
different styles of jerk baits, just like you would any other bait. Okay. Tip number two is getting the lure to do different things by changing the hardware. It's one of my number one easy ways to get a lure, okay? What if you're not using Rapala? What if you're using Strike King or Mega Bass or Lucky Craft or whatever? How do you get that lure to go nose up or nose down? More importantly, how do you take a suspending jerk bait and get it to slow float, barely float, or how do you get that bait to barely sink, which is real important sometimes. And the easiest way to do it, outside of drilling a bait and adding tape and wrapping lead wire and all that stuff, is by changing the hook size. That's it. Just changing the hook size, you can get a bait to slow float, slow sink, nose up, nose down, just by changing the hook size. The general rule of thumb is the bigger hook you put on, the more you're gonna get a sink. The smaller, lighter gauge hook you put on, the more you're gonna get buoyancy, right? So that's an easy modification. I've got a Husky Jerk rigged here on this rod. Uh, little two hooked model, gold Husky Jerk. And this gold Husky Jerk came standard with two number six hooks. With two number six hooks on 10 pound fluorocarbon, that thing is gonna suspend neutrally. But I wanted to get this bait to sink a little bit. The water was cooling off, we had a cold night, and I actually wanted that suspending jerk bait to just slowly sink. So I changed my number sixes, I went up one full size, not a half size, a full size up to number fours. And I got that Husky Jerk to stay neutral, but barely sink. So it's still a suspending bait, but it's got a little sink to it, okay? Real easy modification, just by changing hook size. Um, the same works the other way. If I wanted to get a bait to be really nose up and slow float, I go down in hook size. I can take, instead of number fives, standard on this shadow wrap, I can change these hooks out to a size six or even a size eight, really small, to get that bait to slowly float. So tip number two is using hook size to tweak the action of that suspending jerk bait. It's so subtle yet it can be so important uh, in the wintertime. I um, want to talk about two more things, then we're going to get to the line, the rod, and the reel. Um, I want to talk about color real quick, and if you've watched my videos, you've seen some other of uh, the videos about color. If you look at all my suspending jerkbait colors, whether this one's that almost translucent pale chartreuse, we've got a very like frosted purple, but a light purple pattern, and then we've got a real classic Husky Jerk color for me, which is chrome, greenback, orange belly. If you look at these colors, none of them are excessively bright. So when I'm fishing a suspending jerk bait in the winter, I want the colors of those jerk baits to be more dull and muted. It really does a good job of matching the colors of the forage in that harsh environment, in those wintertime conditions. So color-wise, Stay a little more muted and dull, dull tones in your colors. And then the last tip I want to give you is adding just a little bit of flash and vibration to a jerk bait. In the last 24 months, this modification has caught me so many fish, I can't tell you. And it is a VMC bladed hybrid treble. And if you look at that, it's a regular VMC treble hook. They have it in all the sizes that you'll need from a six all the way up to a number two. The only difference is it's got a little blade built into the middle of that treble hook. The great thing about that little blade is it adds a little bit of flash, a little bit of vibration, and just a little bit of extra weight. 
So this is a great way to get a few more bites. Um, you know, what I'll do is I generally like to add it to the belly of a jerk bait. And it's such a simple modification. I'll take my factory hook. This is a, a number five on a shadow wrap shad. I'm gonna replace it with a number five bladed treble. I'm gonna spin that new one on there. And when I do that, now I've got my suspending jerk bait with a little tiny blade on the belly. That little blade's gonna give it a little flash, a little vibration, and also a little extra weight. If I find that I'm getting bites, but the fish aren't hooking up, I'm, I'm getting strikes and missing them or they're coming off, I'll take that same treble and move it to the back. So I like to play with blade positioning depending on how they're eating the bait, but I like to start with it on the belly. Phenomenal little winner jerk bait, suspending jerk bait modification. All right, we talked about a lot there. Now I wanna get into the, the rod, the reel, and the line. Let's start with the line. Line is super important all year round in any kind of fishing. But line is the most important when you're talking about wintertime suspending jerkbait fishing. And because the line directly affects the action of that lure, okay? And when I'm wintertime fishing with a suspending jerkbait, I'm using two types of line. I'm using fluorocarbon, 100% fluorocarbon. I mean fluorocarbon from the knot of the spool all the way to the lure. So I'm using fluorocarbon. And generally when I'm using fluorocarbon, it's in the lighter pound test from six, maybe up to about 12 pound tests in fluorocarbon. And then this is the big one. Don't forget about this. I'm also using monofilament. I'm using mono when I'm wintertime suspend jerkbait fishing. And I'm generally using mono. This happens to be a Berkeley a trilene a sensation. I'm generally using mono from eight all the way up to 17, even 20 pound tests sometimes, okay? And the reason I'm gonna use these different line types is to help me with what I wanna do with that suspending jerkbait. When I want that suspending jerkbait to get deeper, or when I want that suspending jerk bait to sit buoyant or slowly sink, right? We talked about it. Cold front days, when that water's super cold, I'm trying to get that bait deep and I want it to either neutrally suspend or slowly sink, I use fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon's dense and that means a dense line, a sinking line helps the bait get down, okay? So on those days when you want a deeper suspending jerk bait or you want a bait to go down, nose down, slow sink, go to a fluorocarbon, especially lighter sizes, six, eight, and 10, okay? But the opposite is true with mono. There are for sure days when you want your suspending jerk bait to stay higher in the water column. You want it to be shallower in the water column. Shallow water environments, when you see fish suspend it high, um, when you want that bait to slowly rise, it's winter, but it's a warming day. It's a warming trend, right? The fish are active. I want a slowly rising suspending jerk bait. That's when I go to mono. Unlike fluorocarbon, mono's buoyant. Mono's not dense, mono's light. Mono f has a floating nature to it. So when you want that suspending jerk bait to run shallower, or you want to get that slow rise that we talked about, using smaller hooks, go on the mono, slow rise, this is perfect. And again, generally heavier, a little bit heavier mono than what we talked about on flora. Now I'm talking about the 12, 14, 17, even 20, if you want that bait to ride super shallow, okay? So fluorocarbon and mono, using that to help with the mod modifying of the bait. Um, let's talk about reel and rod. 
last but not least, very critical pieces to a suspending jerkbait in the wintertime. And on the reel, the main thing I want to tell you is I want you to go down, listen to me, go down in your gear ratio on your reels in the winter, okay? If you're using spinning, doesn't that's just the same. If you're using casting, go down in ratio. I like, I really, really prefer a six, six to one, all the way down to a five, one to one gear ratio reel in the winter. And what that slower ratio does is it gives you a little more power, the ability to be a little more rhythmic to your cadence, but it's a subtle way to help you slow down. The colder the water, the slower you gotta fish. And when you slower, lower your gear ratio, by default, you're slowing yourself down, okay? So go to a lower gear ratio. By the way, this is a Abu Garcia Revo Ike, a six, six to one. Love this reel for my uh, suspending jerkbait fishing in the winter. Last but not least, I wanna talk about rod. And this to me is, is the most critical aspect, not just to fishing a suspending jerkbait in the winter, but I'm gonna go as far and say any treble hook lure in the winter. And it is using a rod that's softer than what you use the rest of the year, especially with treble hooks, right? A softer rod. And what I mean by a softer rod is I mean a more medium action, a more parabolic, some say slower rod tip, right? This one's got a lot of tip to it. It's very parabolic. That soft tip, that parabolic rod is so important. It's gonna help you get longer cast. You're gonna be able to take these jerk baits and throw them a mile. Um, they actually assist in your cadence, right? So think about a rubber band. When you're jerk, when you're doing those twitches, doom, doom, pause. That twitch, the rod acts like a rubber band and loads the lure up more, giving you more action. But last but not least, and this is the main reason, listen to me, use a rod with a slower action, a more parabolic action, because it delays your hook set and lets the fish eat the bait. When that fish comes up and eats that jerk bait, the water's cold, dude, it's winter time. He'll barely get his lips around it sometimes, just nipping at it. And with a stiff graphite rod, heavy action, medium heavy action, you feel it and your instinct is to pull away. Well, when you feel it with this soft rod, more parabolic rod, he gets it in his mouth more before you feel it. And then when you set the hook, when you sweep your rod, it takes a little time for it to load, which is a little delay in the hook set, which is what you need. The other great thing is that soft rod, when they get near the boat and they're jumping and thrashing, even in cold water, you're gonna land more fish with all those treble hooks. Um, wanna throw in there that the rod that I use is a rod I sp specifically designed for jerkbait fishing, especially in the winter. And this is an Abu Garcia Ike Series delay rod. And our delay rods are actually graphite and glass mixed together. And when you add glass to a rod, it slows it down, it makes it more parabolic, it makes it more flimsy on the tip. And um, this is a 6.8 medium action rod with a really short butt. Look at the rod on that butt. It's a shortened butt. So it's 6.8, but most of it's rod. Very little butt. And the reason for that is jerkbait fishing in the winter is all about twitches and cadence. So there's not a long rod here to get in the way. It's all wrist. You want that rod close. So we shorten the butt up. So 6.8 medium Abu Garcia Ike series uh, delay rod. Um, quite frankly, suspending jerk baits are one of the best lures you can throw in the winter. I hope you take some of these tips, talking about lures, hooks, line, rod reel. Take some of those tips, incorporate it into your wintertime suspending jerkbait fishing. I think you're gonna catch and land a lot more fish. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give me, a, give me one second, two seconds. 
hit that button down there. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. We're going to get you brand new educational content every single week. If you're already a subscriber, do me a favor and tell your fishing buddy about Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're going to get him some great information. Uh, good luck. Good fishing. Throw that jerk bait. <laughs>